I'm pretty sure when that hits the stop, I have 30 minutes of fuel. So I think we're good. I'm like 10 minutes from home. Ain't shady, baby, I'm hot, like the prodigal sun. Bigger bite of leany, meany, money, more and flower, you're the chosen one. One thousand eight hundred and twenty-six. Not too many records jump out at me. There's the Cessna record for like the longest flight, and I think it was like seventy-two days or something. It was insane. None of that stuff ever really stood out to me, except for this. David Martin is an aerobatic pilot who I've seen perform at Oshkosh on separate occasions. Last year, when I was there, they talked about his streak of consecutive days flying. He flew for 1,826 days. That's just over five years. That's insane. years of flying every single day. I can think of two things. One, it'd be hard with work because we've had no-goes when our plane doesn't function. I have enough people that I know that would let me borrow their plane to go up and get like, you know, an hour in a plane a day. Weather's not a big factor out here. You could pretty much fly every day out here at some point, but you'd have to have the whole day to do it. All right, we got a little crosswind from the left. We're gonna see if we can't land our left tire right on the center line. Let's see what we got. Here we go. It's about there. Come on. That's pretty much right on it. All right, we'll do a little touch and go here. I wonder what his job was. I didn't read too much into it. He was flying for like a man, you know, one of the major air carriers. And I'm sure that obviously every day that he was on, he was flying, especially if he was flying a narrow body. But I don't know, that seems like a lot. Five years. If I started that today, I'd be 37, 37 years old, about when I tied his record. I'm a traffic, yellow cub, right base to final glider on my 2 2 Heaven. If I quit my job, I could probably beat his record. It would be tough because. I would be unemployed and broke, and the banks would foreclose on my airplanes. But, all right, let's try the same thing. We're gonna try the right tire. Right wheel, center line. Let's see if we can do this. Just that crosswind practice, you know. There it is, there's the right wheel. It's a little bit tougher with the wind right there. Just missed the center line. We'll go around here. It's just so peaceful up here. So while that's a record that I'll never beat, I do think that I would like to count every single day and see how many days in 2024 I can actually fly. I have to go look at my logbook, but I'm pretty sure I've flown every single day. It's only the, what is today? It's January 5th. It's only the fifth day of the, of the year. Starting now for 2024, I'm gonna try and fly every single day. And if it's not truly flying, if it's not, you know, me, manipulating the controls of an airplane in the air, 
I'm just gonna try and do anything related to flying every single day. Whether it's the simulator when I'm at training, whether it's a remote control airplane or the drone, I'm just gonna try and fly anything. I'm gonna fly something every day of 2024. All right, looks like I got 30 minutes of fuel. And the airport's right there. We're golden. All right, let's go in and land. Have a traffic, yellow cup, base to final, runway two, three, full stop. So somebody commented that I should three-point this thing. I never three-pointed, so maybe I'll try. So we'll see. Coming in, no wind, just said it was calm. Be looking in the sun again. Oh yeah, oh we're blind. Oh we're blind. Three-point this thing. There we go. Patience, keeping it off the ground. Oh, that's right in the sun. There we go. The old, the old three-point. I never three-point anything. It worked though. So while I may never come close to David Martin's record, I'm just gonna try and fly as much as I possibly can this year. See you tomorrow.